Hi guys, how you all doing? Um, so, really sorry that I haven't been on my YouTube channel lately, but I have been going through a bit of a hard time personally. Um, and when I feel like this, <sighs> I just can't be arsed doing anything, but I think it's always good to be honest. I feel like a lot of people nowadays on social media are like, you know, always paint that they have this perfect life and, you know, like, if you look in somebody's Instagram feed, you would literally be like, oh my God, that person's so perfect. And I just think people need to stop trying to live a lie and actually tell the truth. My life is definitely not perfect and... I've been going through a hard time and I feel like I'm feeling quite depressed again, which I get quite a lot with my ADHD. It goes on and off, but I was going through a really good time there and um, not so much now. <laughs> but I'm back and um, today I'm going to take you on a little um, sort of vlog thing. Um, I'm going to visit the Kelvin Grove Art Galleries, which is one of the most famous places in Glasgow. And I'm also going to go a nice little lunch. I love eating out by myself. Like some people might think that's sad. I love my own company. I usually have Mr. Bald with me. Um, but the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery doesn't let dogs in. So I'll be going for lunch myself today without Mr. Bald. <laughs> but I just love my own time, my own space and... Especially when you're going through a hard time, it's just nice to sit and think about things and, um, you know, just be alone with your thoughts. So, I'm going to take you guys with me, so. So, um, <clears throat> I have just stopped off at Starbucks to get a coffee because I'm literally dead. Um, put a wee bit of makeup on. I always do my makeup when I'm driving. I don't know if anyone else is like that. Um... No, I don't do it when I'm actually driving, just in case anyone's like, oh, that's so unsafe. Like, go into the car, I'll do a wee bit of makeup, and then when I stop for a coffee in a park, I'll do a bit of makeup. Reason why the lighting in your car is like the absolute best ever, 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 ever for doing makeup. Just natural lighting in the mirror in your car, that's better in the house, so. Anyway, I got a large, fuck. Ow, oh, it's roasting. I, I, I can't even hold it up. I got a large latte, um, coconut latte, um, with coconut milk. Coconut latte, obviously, Ashley. Um, because I am allergic to milk. So, And then we're going to head off to the art gallery. Maybe we'll go for lunch first. I don't actually know. Just feeling a bit shit and depressed. But hopefully as the day gets on, I feel a wee bit better. None of the eye be through the lights. I have absolutely no idea what that strange looking sculpture is, but whatever floats your boat. I just went into the first part of the museum and it's all about animals, which I absolutely love. But it's quite creepy because it's like real stuffed animals. Proper, proper creepy. They're really interesting, like if you touch them, it like, feels like your dog. Oh. 
but really interesting to see all the different species of animals. How random in the middle of all these stuffed animals we've got a fighter jet plane. Hmm. This is going to sound like totally, totally strange, but since I was a really young girl, I've kind of like always felt spirit strange about me. I'm a very spiritual person and, um, God, you're so going to think I'm absolutely, absolutely nuts, but I literally can feel my dead gran, my dead granny around me all the time. She's not around me all the time, but when she's there, I can feel it, and I can feel when there's like spirit in the room. I've never seen an actual ghost, but I felt its presence. I can't really explain it. It's like a pure cold, cold feeling, and it's as if it's blown on your back, and you can feel like like a cold sensation going up your spine. And and do you know what? See, when I was in that Kelvin Art Gallery, I'm telling you that place is haunted because I could just, the feeling that, the feelings that I was getting when I was walking about it was just, it was just like this cold feeling, this, as if somebody was blowing air onto me, even though the air condition wasn't on, it was a roasting hot day, it's just this eerie, eerie, sort, sort of nostalgic feeling, certain smells from the paintings and stuff that that place is definitely haunted like 100 percent i actually had a wee bit of the creeps when i when i get out there but i found it quite cool as well i quite like it i'm not scared of spirits or anything but you're probably going to think i'm absolutely off my rocker so guys that's me um <coughs> i hope you've enjoyed my little vlog to kelvin grove art gallery it was just absolutely beautiful, but I'm just so gutted. Like when you look at all the architecture, if you look at, you know, 
buildings in Glasgow today just so boring a lot of them look like mini jails like all the new houses that they're building and you go into the Kelvin Art Grove Art <laughs> the Kelvin Art Gallery and it's just so beautiful like the actual building is out of this world and then when you go around the design bit and you see the way furniture used to be made in those days it's just it's absolutely breathtaking and you know when people made products back in those days they really put their own individual stamp on it they used expensive materials everything was quality and handmade and I just feel like nowadays things are just made cheap plastic MDF everybody's got the same IKEA shit which is just, just falls apart it's not even made good and I don't know I find it quite actually quite um, sad you know about the past I think the past was definitely better for art manufacturing all that kind of stuff see you next week guys can you please like and subscribe um, if you want to see more videos about my weird and wacky life <laughs> bye bye